How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. I just thought I'd share this with you guys. Uh, we did order and receive the stack for the uh, Barn Dominium wood burner. Uh, I have a door vent. This is through the roof kit and then we have the pipe. Now I have two more two more pieces of this pipe. I have a total of nine foot of triple wall pipe which is going to get us from the ceiling through the roof and we'll be doing a video on this install step by step but not until this summer the only thing I want to do now is to make sure that my pipe matches up with everything that's got to go through that roof and down through the ceiling so what I'm going to do is open two of these we're going to open one pipe and we're going to open our through the roof kit and make sure everything fits before we wait too long and can't return it. So let's get this stuff opened up and we're gonna see what we have here. Now I went with a triple wall pipe and this triple wall pipe is two inches to combustibles. And don't hold that to me, but the last time I ordered a set of these, it was two inches to combustibles for the three or the triple wall pipe. So that's what we went with the triple wall. Now I didn't go with the stainless. I went with the um, galvanized and I'll tell you why. The pipe that we had installed in the workshop out there for the garage, that was galvanized pipe. And that pipe is probably about 35 years old. And it is still like new. Would I like to have had the stainless? Absolutely. But it's like an extra $60 a joint. It's a lot more expensive than this. I'm sure it's going to last longer. But I think this will probably outlast me. So we're going to go ahead and get this pipe out. I'll show you what the pipe looks like. It is a triple wall pipe. This is what one section looks like. And I'll show you from the back side here. It's a little easier what you're looking at. So what you have is you have this piece as your first line of defense and it is galvanized. Then you have an inside pipe inside here and it I believe is either galvanized or stainless. I'm not sure, but I do know the center piece is going to be stainless. So then you have insulation in here. So you have this pipe, you have a packing of insulation, then you have another pipe, and then you have this pipe here. So you got a triple wall pipe. And this has always been great for me. I really like using this pipe. I've installed it in my last homestead and we'll be installing it in this one also. I have had no issues even with the pipe rusting or anything. It's been very good pipe. So we're going to go ahead and you can see these pipes lock together. They have little lips on them here where you twist and lock these big pipes together right here. You can actually see the pipe here a little better. You have this inside pipe, then you have insulation, then you have another pipe here, and then a pipe out here. It's good stuff, trust me. I've used it for years and never had an issue with it. So we're going to open up our kit. We're going to make sure everything is in our kit that we're going to need to put this thing through the ceiling and through the roof. This thing's going to give you all the instructions that you need are going to be here, but we're not going to get into these. I just want to make sure everything fits perfect.
Okay, this kit comes with a cap. This cap, we need to make sure it locks on the top of our pipe. Okay, our cap will mount on there. The only thing is, is once I lock it on, it seems like I'm not gonna get it off. And I'm not crazy about that because if you lock it on and then you wanna put a brush down through it to clean your stack, how are you gonna get this back off? I'm not, not crazy about that, but it will lock on there. It's a perfect fit, but we'll have to do something. If you notice, right in here, it has little locks that keeps this from coming off. And I don't want that. The only thing I can see, if you was gonna clean your chimney, you would have to take these four bolts out. That one, that one, that one, and that one, in order to clean your chimney. Oh, uh, I guess we could lock it on there, but you will be taking out four bolts if you want to clean your stack. Because this here, once I get it snapped on there, I'm not gonna get this back off. Uh, not crazy about that. My other one, I could tap it up and it would come right off, but it will fit the pipe. Everything seems to be pretty good here. Everything is going to fit pretty nice. This will be your rain collar. This is your bottom plate. It's gonna cover your bottom of your stack where it goes up in. You get you guys looking at me a little better. One more piece. Some of these pipes are a little bent up. But you've got to expect that they're building everything much cheaper than ever. So we're going to turn this one over very easily. So these pieces here is what's going to connect this to our pipe down to the stove. By the looks of everything, I think we are good. We also have the box down in here. There's no use getting it out. As long as these pieces fit and the cap fits, I think we're going to be perfectly fine on this. We have all of our pieces to put us a stack in. We're probably not going to do this build until later in the summer when we get into the dry season. That way, if we do get some rain, well, hopefully it's not much. So I would like to tell everyone, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time.